Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Pravda from SuitCafe.com. That's a company I started back in 2014 after a 30-year career in uh, retail. And I'm here to make another video for you and to talk to you about how to fold a tie for your luggage or put a tie in a suitcase and when you take it out of your suitcase you will not have any wrinkles. So here we go and I'm back at it. So welcome back everyone. Um, so we're going to do a video today about uh, how to fold a tie for your luggage or for your suitcase. As you can see right here on my YouTube channel, I did a video like this back in May of 2015. So this is a new update to that. I want to show you a few more details about how to do it. And of course the website here is suitcafe.com which you could take a look at some of the nice suits that we make uh, custom made uh, in Italy. So here I have uh, just your regular everyday tie. Uh, this is 100% silk. Uh, most ties these days are 100% silk, although there are other ties that are made from uh, microfiber. And if you get into some very specialized sort of neckwear, you could find cotton, cotton and cashmere in the winter, 100% cashmere. But those are more, um, uh, you know, not readily available as much as 100% silk. Uh, so here you have a tie. And the best way to uh, put a tie together uh, in your luggage is to do some very simple things. You take the large end of the tie and the small end of the tie and you put them together just like so. Put the two tips together. So now you have your tie basically like this. Just like if you may see it hanging in a store just like that. And then what you want to do and I uh, just want to add if your tie has a self loop a self loop is a loop behind the tie that's made out of the same fabric as the tie with the same pattern. Uh, some ties don't have a self loop. They might have a loop that's created by the manufacturer's label and sometimes may have both. You may have the manufacturer label that looks like a loop and you may have the self loop as well. So if you have just the self loop or the label or both, you want to take the small end and you want to push it through that self loop or both the loop and the label or the label alone if that's all you have. Then take this part, which is the part that's folded now on the other end, and you want to also put that through <clears throat> the self loop just like that and bring it up and match it up to the tips that are right there. So now your tie is put together sort of very nicely, very evenly and very neatly. Now, there are some people who say, hey, let me roll my ties. You see, I have them on display on the table. Let me roll it up, which I'll do right now. And let me stick it in the corner of my luggage. Let's say I'm taking four ties with me. I can get one tie in every corner and nothing's really crushing it or squashing it. The only problem with rolling the tie is that it's not really good for the interlining of the tie. Um, ties do have a lining inside. Uh, there may be some very inexpensive ties that don't have any lining and there are some very expensive ties that have very uh, expensive and um, pliable interlinings. Uh, pliable meaning that they start to take the shape of whatever you twist and turn the tie to. Uh, those are mostly ties probably over $150, over $200 that have those special linings inside. Uh, but in any event, when you roll a tie, no matter what you have in, on the interior, what happens is over time, the tie sort of keeps that shape of the roll. You see how this tie sort of doesn't even straighten out? Because I sometimes keep them rolled like this to show them to people as on display and they sort of keep that roll. So when you put it in your luggage, you really don't want to roll it. And the best way to do this for the luggage is to leave it just like this. Do exactly what I just did in the beginning, put it through the two self loops and leave it just like that and keep it nice and flat in your, in your luggage. And you could put it underneath uh, a suit jacket or what I like to do sometimes is after I fold the trousers for the luggage and you could watch a video that I just posted about a week ago about how to fold your suit pants in your luggage and then I put the sport coat or the jacket to the suit right on top. So I might put three, four ties on top of the pants and then I would put the jacket nice and flat on top of the ties. So now when you take the tie out of your luggage, it's nice and flat and you can just undo it from the self loops or the self label and you could put it around your neck on your dress shirt and you can make your tie knot. Now the only thing that could occur is right at this point where it's sort of folded over, you could have sort of like a slight roll here when you actually make the tie. So I'll show you quickly, give you an example, 
how a tie would look. See, just like that. But if you do get a little roll here, this is going to come out as soon as you lay the tie flat because the interlining wasn't rolled up like that. It was just a slight fold. So it doesn't keep the fold in the tie. So there you see how that tie looks. That tie looks nice and clean just like that. And I could show you another one here. I could just unroll this one. And I can make that quick tie knot. And I could show you this one as well. This is a solid color. So the solid colors always show sort of like a shimmery look because the silk is um, just one color and it always shows the reflection, unlike a pattern that reflects more of the light so you don't see any imperfections that might be behind the silk. So there you go. That's how you would uh, fold your tie for your suitcase. Uh, try that out for yourselves. Practice it a little bit. And uh, even if you want to fold them that way in a drawer or in your closet, you could do it that way too, as opposed to hanging them around a hanger, which really kills the silk at that point, you know, uh, where you're hanging it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel because I have uh, new types of videos that are going to be coming out, as I mentioned in all my prior uh, recent videos. I'm going to be changing the format a little and talking about different things, like we did a video about this HyperX uh, Quadcast S microphone. I'm going to be doing a video about this new ring light that I'm using right now. And we're going to be getting into doing some other luxury items, such as watches and pens. We'll be showing those things as well. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you again when I'm back at it.